Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Friday the 21st of August. Starting off with uh, CapEx, we've got a nice little setup here breaking the initial August resistance at uh, 3.85 and uh, while we're above, sorry, at uh, 4.39 and while we're above that, uh, looking for a top of uh, broadening triangle there from March as high as 9 pence. Time frame on that, uh, hopefully as soon as the end of uh, September, if not a little bit before. Uh, I suppose we're still in bull mode uh, while we hold above uh, the old April resistance level at 3.6 pence, but ideally we don't go back below 4.39 over coming days. It looks as though the uh, move here today is one with a bit of momentum. Uh, next up is uh, Metal NRG, which uh, I know uh, somebody on Twitter was uh, suggesting that there's uh, news forthcoming I suppose um, uh, with stock market that's normally not announcement not too far away but uh, current situation here we've got a, a triangle there from uh, the end of February uh, that was broken earlier this week uh, say roughly around the uh, 0.52 level uh, but at least while we're above uh, that uh, uptrend line there from February currently running around 4. Uh, 0 0.46 0 0.47 uh, the upside here is obviously initially uh, June resistance of 0.7 and then the overall uh, picture uh, up towards uh, 1.1, 1.2 pence at the top of that uh, rising trend channel from the end of November. I uh, couldn't resist looking at uh, Midatech Pharma. Uh, just, I think, because, again, I saw somebody uh, uh, talking about uh, the, uh, the, the, the pre-market in the U.S. and uh, how the stock, uh, the U.S. version of the stock is uh, on the move. Got a key reversal today to the upside so far. Uh, breaking yesterday's low and then breaking yesterday's high. Uh, bouncing off the 30-day moving average as well, which is what the shares did uh, prior to the uh, last spike through 50 pence. And uh, I think before that as well. So that's all good. So above the 30-day uh, line, 34 pence, uh, looking for at least a retest of uh, the uh, August 53 pence uh, resistance. Uh, we are the bigger target there up to that resistance line from January around uh, 62 pence. Uh, and that's all valid while we hold above, hopefully, 34. Uh, on to uh, non-standard, uh, which has uh, lots of very ardent fans, apparently, on uh, uh, social media. Uh, this is looking uh, interesting. I think covered it a bit before, uh, a few days before. But uh, interesting now that we've broken that line of resistance uh, there from June and the 30-day moving average at uh, around uh, 5 pence, so above 5 pence. Uh, looking for further upside, at least to retest July resistance at 8 pence. And obviously after that, uh, the top of that triangle is currently pointing to 30 pence, which uh, seems rather ambitious. But uh, uh, obviously the initial target there at uh, around 8 pence would uh, um, sure please people. Early and end of day close back below the 20-day line at uh, 4.69, really uh, delaying the upside scenario. Uh, on to a stock which... Um, is looking interesting just for one reason and one reason alone today, and that's because uh, we've got this uh, wonderful hammer type of price action. So the low of the day at 72, and then uh, right back on the highs at the moment. Uh, end of day close above that line of resistance from the beginning of August, and the 20 day line at 77.7 pence could be the uh, buy trigger for those who are cautious. And uh, if we can get through 77 pence, then the target here is up to the top of that rising trend channel from last month through 100 pence. This stage only really back below the 50-day line, way down at 68.6, uh, really delaying the upside scenario for the shares. It might have to stay at or above the 50-day line uh, for the best part of a month. Uh, on to Plutus Powergen. And uh, here you can see that uh, we've had a, we had a flurry up to the 200-day moving average at uh, 0.08. But we've got the usual things we like here. Uh, lots of green candles in the, the end of this uh, triangle formation, breaking it at uh, let's say 0 0.06 and a half and uh, end of day end of week close today above uh, the top of the triangle could set the shares on the way to the upside scenario which is as high as uh, the top of the february price channel at 0.19 if your cautious on the stock maybe wait for an end of day close above the 200 day moving average sometime next week if we get that stop loss back below 0 0.06 and the uh, april uptrend line uh, now a uh, stock which um, has become uh, something of a favourite this week uh, for, for one or two reasons. Uh, interesting to see the current situation uh, for Supply Me in terms of the uh, 
consolidation of the hat we've had after the uh, 10 bagger move uh, that uh, happened earlier this month uh, interesting that we're holding uh, basically around the uh, that line of resistance from april uh, and another one uh, at the top of the uh, range so far 0 0.95 so 0 0.6 0.6 to 0.95 the uh, current range uh, and the upside valid obviously why we hold it by yesterday's low at point uh, roughly at 0.5 uh, if you're a fan of the stock and there seem to be one or two people around the best case scenario target at the moment is up to a, a, a May resistance line projection currently heading towards 1.5. But that, as I said, is valid while only while we hold above uh, the 0.5 area. And uh, don't forget, I'll be interviewing uh, the company on Tuesday for Share Talk. Uh, next uh, stock is um, uh, the uh, one that sort of spiked up quite uh, strongly today, Simic Atlantis. Uh, be interesting to see whether the shares can uh, hold above uh, the previous uh, resistance there uh, from uh, uh, the early part of July at 23, what's it, 24 pence. So end of, end of day close above 24 pence and uh, Simec could be on its way towards the top of the broadening triangle from m uh, May rather up to 40 pence. So this stage early really back below uh, 21, 22 pence really delaying the upside scenario. Uh, wonderful uh, trend uh, on the next stock, uh, Sunrise Resources, uh, over the recent past, really has been uh, impressive. And it uh, looks like we've got a fresh kick uh, to the rally now with this uh, great looking daily candle so far, opening at the low, so far at the high. Uh, the view is that while we're at least while we're above 0.34 pence on an end of day close basis, uh, Sunrise could hit the top of that June resistance, uh, June uh, price channel rather, currently pointing at 0.65 pence plus only really back below uh, the august uptrend line or july uh, trend line there at 0.3 really delaying uh, the upside scenario but ideally we hold above 0.34 surface transforms rather obscure stock but um thought i'd cover it just in case it uh, turns out to be one of the uh, big movers over the next few weeks uh situation here we're coming off the back of um, a bear trap uh, below uh, the 200-day line, 21.85, also had gaps higher before, so it shows that there's uh, decent momentum on the upside, even though this is a rather liquid, illiquid situation. As far as what the uh, outlook is uh, here, really above uh, 26, 27 pence, uh, last month's high, looking for a top of 2020 price channel target as high as 42 pence, uh, perhaps as soon as the end of the next month. And uh, that's valid while we hold above the 200-day line at 21 pence. Just a couple of to, to go in this uh, marathon session that's become. Um, first is uh, Tower Resources, where we've got the classic uh, uh, consolidation at the low end of the range and then the break of a, a two, three month uh, trend, uh, trend line. Also above the uh, 50 day line, that's the blue line there at 0.33. So above the 50 day line, looking for a breakout eventually uh, up to the top of that rising trend channel from January. Obviously, if you're cautious on the, sh on the stock, you'll probably be waiting for uh, an end of day close uh, above 0.4 pence because that's been the block <coughs> over the recent past. Uh, another stock which is uh, tr uh, stopped, uh, hopefully finished its bumping along the bottom, uh, Tulu Energy, nice falling wedge break there, uh, breaking the uh, 20 day line and that uh, May resistance line at 2.06 pence. Above that, on an end of day close basis, looking for a top of May a triangle target as high as 3.8 pence. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe wait for an end of day or end of week close above the 50 day line, uh, just around two and a quarter pence. But uh, recovery in the air, at least while we hold above uh, the 1.8 pence uh, support of uh, uh, this month and uh, uh, basically last month as well. That's it for me today. More updates soon.